Hey guys, welcome to our COVID special Thank Truck It's Friday. We're going to show you two of our most popular products for keeping you clean and sanitized during this global pandemic. I hope you're all keeping safe. I hope you're wearing your masks. They do make a difference. Let's go. Okay, so we all heard of COVID. We all know what's going on. I don't need to go through any of that with you guys. I'm not gonna bore you with anything like that. Um, what we've done, we've, we've kind of gone with what's going on and we've brought in two particular products, uh, new products that we wanna share with you guys. You may have seen them already. They're not new. They've been about for a little while on our, um, on our website, uh, especially these sanitizer bombs. I'm gonna start off with that as well. So, Sani bombs, uh, it's more than just, you might have seen similar products, they're like air conditioning cleaners, um, they come in cans. There's plenty of those around, they're great, um, but they are designed to clean the air conditioning system. The difference between an air conditioning bomb and a sanitizer bomb is that this will sanitize any surface that it touches, basically, and it remains active on that surface for up to seven days. Um, these here, we sell these for $17.49 a can or six for £99 plus the VAT. Apologies, I am gonna keep fiddling with my mask because it keeps slipping. Um, how do these work? Well, basically you just shake it, shake it for 30 seconds, get it ready to go off. Open the, open the vehicle up, turn the air conditioning on to full blast so that gets a good circulation or if you haven't got air conditioning, just get the air circulating on the circulation system. Take the lid off the bomb. On the top here, you've got a trigger. Now you can spray these once for short blasts or they have a locking trigger. So if you do decide to to spray it just briefly, just to smell it. Make sure you only press it halfway down because if you press it all the way, it's gonna go off and you won't stop it. So yeah, open the door, air conditioning system on, press this down so it locks into position. I'm not gonna set it off on in here, but I'll show we set it off in here. Yes. All right, let's set it off in here. This is unscripted. So we shake it up for 30 seconds. We place it in the middle of the vehicle. We press it down. It locks into place and the bomb dispenses. So the bomb dispenses in between 30 to 60 seconds. Um, this is all sanitized. It smells lovely, it's a tea tree fragrance at the moment. Um, the fragrances may change over time. It all depends on what the availability of certain ethanols are um, in, the, in the world at the moment with what's going on. So yeah, so it's, it's doing this. You can imagine in the vehicle, it's circulating through, it's landing on all different surfaces and it's sanitizing everything it sees. Now. We do recommend that you're not in the vehicle while it's going off for obvious reasons. We're in quite a large room in here, so we're not too bad. It's designed to sanitize an area about three meters cubed, so about the size of a truck cab or a good sized van, or even a camper van or a family car. Uh, you could use it in a small room as well. So it's just, uh, oh no, it's going again. I thought it was finishing up. There we go, it's just finishing up now. So that was roughly 60 seconds and it's dispensed. Um, we then recommend you leave the vehicle for another 60 seconds to stand everything, all of the, the sanitizer will be on the surfaces. It's killing all the germs, it's killing all the bacteria. It's 99.9% .9 effective. A bit like the debt I'll add, I feel like I'm selling that now. Um, once it's done, it doesn't leave a, re a residue anywhere. Um, I don't know if you can see, but certainly on this table, it's quite a dark wood table. It's not left a residue. It's the same in your vehicle. It's not gonna discolor any fabrics or anything like that. So don't worry about any of that at all. Um, it's, it's designed for the job, basically. So yeah, so there are sanitizer bombs. They're an excellent thing, especially if you've got multiple drivers. Um, you, you, might, uh, you might have, say, a truck that's shared between two or three drivers. Driver one might get on a Monday to a Wednesday. He should probably set one off on a Monday. And then the guy that gets in on Wednesday through to Friday would probably set one off and the weekend driver should probably set one off as well. It's just a quick and easy and effective way. They don't have to keep going around wiping all the surfaces that way. As long as it touches it, it's gonna sanitize it. Of course, you may still choose to wipe things down. We're not saying don't do that, just at your own leisure. Um, and that's it really. So, you know, they've been already, they've been very popular with fleets. Um, we have sold a lot of them. We do hold a lot in stock. Um, we work very closely with the manufacturer who, who, who do the canning for us and make sure that we have an availability. Um, we tried to keep up with the current ethanol crisis in the world as well, making sure that we've got enough to be produced. So yeah, if you need some, check out the website. 
like I say, 17.49 each for retail, can of six cans for 99 pounds. We do have bulk buy discounts as well on 100 cans or more, so make sure you just get in touch for that and we'll make sure that we, that we do you a good deal. So yeah, that's it. That's the Sani Bomb. We'll just get that out of the way. Next up is this beauty here. This is called Shoulder Sink. Now, why is it called Shoulder Sink? Well, to start with, it's a sink on the go. It might not look like a sink. It has a shoulder strap on it as well, so you can carry it around. Great branding. Um, the idea of Shoulder Sink is it's an all-in-one system to keep you or your operators clean and, and sanitized and everything else whilst they're out and about perhaps on site or in a workshop or, or wherever. Um, it's all in one, so basically the main part of the, of the uh, shoulder sink is a water tank and you have this swan neck spout here, which I've got a glass because I don't want to put water on the floor. There's no power to this, it's just a standalone, it's gravity fed. So as you, you bend this down, you get your water come out. Now it's not, it's not massive, you know, it's not high pressure, but it's enough to wash your hands and rinse your hands off on site. Um, that in there will hold enough for, I believe it's about 20 hand washes. It might be more, I can't remember, but certainly enough. Um, paper towel in, in here as well, so you can just pull it out and use it. Now the most important of an effective hand, or part of an effective hand clean is obviously the soap. So you get a cream soap supplied, you get antibac gel, just like the evaporative stuff that you used to get in, and you also get a degreaser as well. Now, it comes with two um, slots for them. The most common is obviously the, the, uh, the cream soap and the antibac at the moment. However, if you are a mechanic perhaps or a tire fitter and you get greasy quite a lot, you might choose to swap the cream soap out for the degreaser and then antibac afterwards, whichever you want. Um, this is the this little nozzle here is where you fill the water tank up. It's really well built. Um, it's a, a Scandinavian product, um, which you know you can you can tell and feel from the quality. It's really nice. You've probably seen there on the back as well. It comes with a built-in mounting bracket. So if you do want to say screw this to the side of your if your van wall or in a truck locker or something like that, or even on a workshop wall, um, you can just dock the. So this strap undoes. I can undo that. We can take that away. And then, sorry, just bear with me a second. Should have done this off camera. So you just pull the pull the strap through. That's the, the security strap, so that holds it to the bracket. It's as simple as that. Just tightens up with a simple grip tight thing. And then you can then remove shoulder sink from the bracket. So you can imagine that would be mounted on the vehicle wall or like I say, or in your workshop or whatever, permanently. And then you can carry this round, take it away to refill it, or you know, if that's in the back of your van, you can then move it, move it to the doors at the side or whatever to make it easy for you. And that, that comes as standard, that's supplied. And then also in here, we'll just take this off so you can have a look. Just twist these in. So you can actually see how it all works. There we go, get rid of that. So inside there, you can see there's the paper towel. It has a bin as well, I didn't mention that. There's a hole in the top there, so once you've used your paper towel, you're not just throwing it on the floor or cluttering your van up. There's a built-in little bin there for you as well. And then you can see here the, the two, two cleansing products, the spout, and then your watertight um, seal there for your, for your water tank. And the water tank basically makes up, actually if I turn it this way, you'll see it a bit better. So that's the filling nozzle, and then it makes up the entire body of the of the sink itself so it's quite heavy when it's full but obviously it's going to be and uh yeah so it's a nice little product it's portable you know it's not heated so we understand there's other products out there that allow you to heat and that kind of thing but currently certainly for portability and for availability i would like to add we do have them in stock here ready for next day delivery um, products like this are in high demand at the moment but we do have the stock here so if you need some, please give us a call or check them out on the website. Retail's 265 plus VAT. We have got them on offer. We've tried to cut it right down. They're 220 plus the VAT. Um, we do have bulk buy discounts available as well for 50 or more. Uh, for, sorry, 48 or more, because they come on pallets of 48. So again, if you're interested, please give us a shout. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So sorry, it might not be very interesting. I can understand that, but hopefully it's relevant for the current climate we're in. Um, 
If you need anything else, please let us know. Please like and subscribe to this video. Keep checking the website for further updates. There is a video coming next on our new phone and tablet mounts, which are designed for fleets. They're really hardware and made in the USA. They're really nice, trust me. Um, and also we're gonna be doing a video on those mattresses I told you about last week, so don't miss them either. And uh, yeah, see you soon, cheers.